Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, don't worry, you're not in the wrong session. You're still trying to explain the efficiency of vertical roller wheels by the help of grinding it. But I like this girl very much. Why? It's so efficient. It flies up in the air without moving the tail, only using the terminals. It's smoothly gliding and only the tail movement gives the direction. That's very parallel to a vertical roller mill. Vertical roller mills for cement grinding, for finished product grinding, are very energy efficient. They have a much lower energy demand than ball mills, as example. They can be made use of waste heat, and of course, the smoothly grinding equipment will have little bear. So that makes the importance of vertical roller mills and nowadays more than 40% of the total capacity, not of the number of mills, but of the total capacity <coughs> of cement grinding which is newly installed is being done with vertical roller mills. On the other hand, in developed countries we have new market trends, strong demands. For instance, long workability of concrete, seven hours workability and then a fast setting. Very high strength development, ultra high performance cement, right? High durability, chloride resistance. And of course, the mega trend to substitute clinker, reduce clinker factor using secondary cementitious products like fly ash, limestone or slag. In many cases for the cement producer, this means it should go for higher fineness to grind finer, achieve a higher surface. <coughs> and what is being needed for good workability, for good pumping in long distances, a broad particle size distribution. And how does this work together with vertical roller mill? High early strength in most cases means high cement surface to give a good reactivity. High cement surface or cement fineness means more fine particles on the grinding track, right? This has a consequence of lower interparticle friction, which means the grinding efficiency of the mill is being reduced. Higher circulation factor is the consequence, which of course reduces the fresh feed in the vertical roller mill. Again, more fines on the table. Then, some further problems can result with many fines on the table, deaeration problems causing vibration of the equipment. Operators trend to add more water, inject higher water quantities in, in order to reduce the vibration, which will have a bad influence on the strength development of the cement. So actually, it has to be compensated again with higher fineness. I would like to present you two methods in order to come out of this vicious circle. One of it is the use of chemical strength enhancers which gives the possibility to have high strength development even with coarse of cement. And the other one to show the newest innovations in grinding aids specifically designed for vertical roller mills. When we look at the comminution process, it was a long time believed that the cracking or breaking of a substance like clinker would cause electrical particles on the surface. During several decades, this was published, but we can assure you this is not the case. A fracture of clinker will not have significant charge separation. But we will still have on the fresh, new and bigger surface, high surface energy and 
polarity, right? This will cause attraction forces between the newly generated particles. Humidity helps. Humidity available from gypsum or other sources, sufficient available, will immediately form a molecular, molecular layer on these particles, which helps to reduce the attraction forces and helps to reduce agglomeration of particles. But there still remain attraction forces between the particles, and that's where grinding aids come into it. Grinding aids further reduce the polarity and thereby reduce the formation of agglomerates. Requirements for common grinding aids are electrical dipole moment, so one part of the grinding aid absorbs on the clinker surface, and the other one reduces the attraction forces. To visualize rough non-treated grains of particles with a high energy surface having the trend to form agglomerates. Even individually. Below the coated or covered surfaces, which give a high dispersion effect and avoid agglomerates. Why is this so much important? Because of the separator. Vertical roller mills in integrated separator will, mu will work much better using a grinding aid. Why? The agglomerates will not pass through the separator and go through into the finished product, but they will go back to the reject. So you have another circulation, unnecessarily. The dispersion effect of the grinding aid will disperse the agglomerates into fine particles, so it's able to pass and go away into the finished cement, thereby increase the efficiency of the separator. An example, how can this improve the electrical energy efficiency of vertical roller mill? Left blank, in the middle, see the grind and the deviation in percentage measured with the, in the production of the vertical roller mill producing SEM1 or OPC with the surface according lane roughly 4,000 square centimeter per gram, not too high. And you can see it's possible not only to reduce the specific energy by roughly 7%, but additionally also reduce the water radiation and at the same time maintain the same level of vibration or even slightly reduce it. 7% of reduction in specific energy at the surface of 4,000 square centimeter per gram, that's not so bad. The higher the surface, the more efficient are the grinding aids. More surface means more attraction, that's where, you, where they work. In order to find out and evaluate our findings from the laboratory, we made an intermediate step and did some development in the pilot mill of Lusche on a small scale, able 46 centimeters diameter, two small rollers, working pressure 150 bar, fresh air 480 cubic meter per hour, 90 degrees, and the same target of finest 4,200 square centimeters per gram. In this small mill, by the help of the technicians, we soon found out that it is the best way to demonstrate the efficiency of a grinding aid by artificially increasing the delta P of the mill. Delta P, inlet outlet of the mill, not using the common pressure difference of roughly 50 megabar increasing it, giving it more load, which causes vibration. And using the grinding <coughs> aid, it can be demonstrated that the efficiency of the grinding aid will 
bring down this vibration. So that's the approach we choose in these experiments. We were there during several days doing tests with different raw materials and formulations of uh, graminates. Every day we made several blank tests, of course. And it was nice to observe in comparison of the blank that the result of this pilot mill really are, uh, how we say, cobalt-chlorine. It has a good reproducibility. The yellow column, the specific surface, always in the same range, plus minus 50, non depending on the measuring method. Productivity, always 130 kilos per hour, plus minus two or three high kilos. Then the content of the fines in the range of three to 30 micrometers, stable, and the vibrations from eight to nine millimeters per second, stable as well. Good reproducibility of these lab tests or pilot mill tests. Then, as an overview, some substances which were tested at a quite high dosage. This was something which we could not explain why we needed such high dosage in this pilot mill, compared with blank and water addition alone. What was measured was, of course, the productivity, the gray columns. And you see, we can achieve approximately 120 up to 150 kilo per hour, 20 kilo plus, at the same or even slightly higher surface of the material with strongly reduced vibration. Positive also the distribution of the particle size. We achieved a broader particle, particle size distribution at the measure of N, which will be welcome in the concrete industry. We choose one of these formulations, went out to the market, called it Cicagrand VRM40, and made industrial tests. In comparison with traditional granulate, right? Again, producing an OPC <coughs> in the range of 4,000 square centimeters per gram. And as you can see on the table, with the dosage of about 500 gram per ton, it was possible to save further 4.9% of specific energy. Additionally, reduce water and to and reduce vibration. So many benefits of the cement producer, not alone electricity. As an example, the distribution of particle sizes. You see the blank and the yellow and uh, the blue curves strongly improve with yellow and even much more with the red one coming down in the coarse particle sizes and going further into a size range of three micrometer diameter, which is a good benefit for early strength of the cell. And as I mentioned before, the broader the distribution of particle sizes in the cement grains, the better for the concrete industry. They love it. They don't take nothing else more than narrow distribution because it gives bad workability, which has to be compensated by further measures. So this is the way of using, this was the way of using grinding it. Please let me explain the other method, which has a completely different approach, the use of chemical strength enhancers. Chemical strength enhancers are able to increase compressive strength of the mortar prisms which are regulated according to the yen in the range, in this example, in the plus of 3 to 5 megapascal, depending on the age, depending on dosage and so on. Let's take 4 megapascal strength increasing. Oh, oops, 
what influence can you expect with the salmon which has this effect? Looking at the mechanical strength of 60 newton per square millimeter or megapascal, <coughs> now applying a chemical strength enhancer that means that you can reduce the fineness and reduce the strength by 4 megapascal. As consequence, <coughs> we have a reduction of the electrical energy, the specific electrical energy, because we do not have to grind that fine in the range of again 2 kilowatt hours per ton. Because the higher the surface, the bigger the impact of grinding it. And additional, the reduction of water requirement. Higher the surface, specifically with limestone cements, the water requirement increases and the workability goes down. This example of SEM2 limestone cements shows the efficiency regarding the workability measured in concrete with the slump method, not only increasing the workability. But what is much more important, maintain the workability during a long time. As mentioned in the beginning, concrete industry is demanding and looking for better workability, longer slump life, and stronger uh, strength development. This is the contribution to achieve this goal. Finally, a few references for vertical roller mills using our products for the grinding or for strength enhancement and final conclusion. Vertical roller mills have a growing market share in cement grinding. Vertical roller mills need roughly 30% less energy than conventional ball mills. Conventional grinding aids can reduce specific energy up to 10% maximum. Using advanced technology, it's possible to go further 15 in better ways, maybe even 20%. Concrete innovations increase requirements of <coughs> the cement industry. Strength enhances can be used to reduce cement fineness and thereby increase productivity, reduce specific electricity demand, reduce vibration, and reduce water demand of finished cement. Thank you very much for your attention.